Hello and welcome to another Django tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the admin interface. Now the admin interface uh, that comes shipped with the Django is actually really cool and it gives us the ability to um, have a nice back end for admins. Now it's not designed to be used for your users um, of your website and if you're going to allow users to um, access the admin interface then you're putting the security of your uh, website at risk so it's only designed for administrative uh, people so a couple people that you trust or work for your company or something like that but if you're gonna have a user interface uh, like um, somewhere they log in and they have their own profile or something like that uh, you should design that on your own um, and not use the admin interface that's only for like the developers or someone's uh, uh, running the website. <clears throat> now before we can go in and take a look at the uh, admin interface or the administration uh, page or site, um, we need to create something called a super user. And a super user has the highest privileges in the, the Django project. And what it does is um, allows you to pretty much do anything with the website from the back end. Um, so let's go ahead and create the super user and the command for that is python manage.py create super user. Uh, pretty simple right? Say I want to create super user, I'm creating a super user. So it's a pretty simple command to remember but you only have to really use it once or twice. Um, other than that you really aren't creating super users because we're not going to create our users uh, of our website here um, we're going to use leave that up to a page that we build where they can create their own or you create them but we don't want to create them using this method so it says enter your username so I'm going to say uh, I'm going to leave I'll just put in Tom uh, email address is support at learn python tutorial.com and then my password and use your password I'll use my password keep things secure ah, crap I screwed up all right see um, I took my password twice there we go there we go super users created successfully so we have created our super user so now for us to be able to log into the admin interface we need to access the admin interface to do that we need to uh, fire up our uh, server so it's python manage.py run server and this is going to fire up our server we've seen this before and it's performer checks everything's good to go and right here is where our website is located so I'll go to that page which I already have up and to access admin it's uh, admin all right I had to pause it for a second but uh, anyway um, the URL is your IP address up here and then backslash admin and then add in your credentials and do so. Login is in. And there we go. So we have our, um, this is our admin interface. This is one of our apps, the authentication and authorization, which we talked about for a moment in the settings.py tutorial. But in here we can add users. Click on this, brings up a uh, a page to add users. We can add the username, the password, password confirmation. All right. Um, we also go back to home here and change a user. So here come here's mine. It says Tom support at learnpythontutorial.com. Staff status yes. Uh, we could actually edit this and put in my name. So if I click on Tom, it's going to change it. I put in my first name, last name. And then here's my password of the hash and everything else. Active staff status, super user status. So, but there's a lot of things that are going on in here. Now, <clears throat> um, 
like I was saying before, uh, only one or two people should have super user uh, status because then super user status, as you can see, I can go in and change the information on the super user. Um, but if you have a staff member who, you know, basically all they do is write um, content for you, you probably don't want to give them super user status because they can go in and change your account or change anybody else's account. So that wouldn't be good. So, you know, the Django is built on security, and as we go through these tutorials, you see it more and more that um, a lot of things have to do with security. And then there's groups, but. Um, basically that is it for now what the administrative website looks like but as we add in apps and stuff like that there, we can add in more features in here or we can add our apps in here and the administrators will be able to administrate from here um, we're also going to build a user interface uh, for the users uh, like you guys using our site where you can log in and keep track of your tutorials which ones you have done and which ones you haven't done um, so we'll set something up like that so you when our website goes live you won't see the, the Django administration that's just for me um, to see and then you guys will see a completely different uh, version of a interface a user interface so as we build the website you'll get to see what it looks like and how it functions and I'll show you everything but when the website goes live, uh, the users won't have access to this. So I'll show you guys how to do all that. Um, I can also, I forgot to mention, I can click visit website up here. It will take me to the site and I can change password by clicking on it here. I can change my password. So this all has to do with the Django authorization and authentication uh, app that I showed you in the settings.py. So if you've got any questions about this, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, I believe we're going to start building our first model. So we'll see you there.